Hey, good morning, you guys. It's day four of my 100-day juice fast. And to be very honest with you, I feel fine. And I'm kind of waiting for the big detox to start. It's just been really mild the last few days. And even though when I woke up this morning, I didn't feel like I was run over by a truck or a train and that is usually something that happens when you are uh, in the first few days of a detox as i said before i have been a raw vegan on and off for the last few years and after my child died last february the in 2016 i was pregnant we had to abort the, the pregnancy because he was um, handicapped severely um, and after that I tried to get back on the raw vegan wagon and I think I've I've vlogged it and I've I have all the vlogs on my computer so I can just re-watch everything and I can just see what went wrong every time that I fell off the wagon I can do the, the raw vegan diet for two to five weeks and then I fall off the wagon all the time. Something happens and I fall off the wagon. So I'm kind of scared for this juice fast that in like a couple of weeks time something will happen and I will fall off the, this wagon as well. But let's just see what happens. Basically what I want to say is that I'm used to the detox because every time that I started over and I started over the, the, the raw vegan diet I think 10 to 30 times I lost count I went into a like seven day detox the first five days were a detox of the body and then detox of the mind started you know all kinds of old emotions and old shit came up I had to deal with so that's why I chose this first week of my juice fast to be a week without kids i'm divorced and my kids are um, one week with me and one week with their dad we live very close to each other and it's a perfect arrangement basically uh, because we live so close to each other the kids can visit me whenever they like so th just this morning i had my two older sons who came by just before they went to school because they needed something and at lunchtime I will get my uh, two youngest, my daughter and my son, uh, for lunch. So I, I get to see them every day or almost every day. And that's, that's really great. Um, but I chose to be without kids for the most part because I can just really relax. I canceled all my events and all my appointments just to take this week and be really completely by myself. My boyfriend is working all the time, even at night, so I have the, the space to myself. And I think when you start a thing like this, it is very important that you have this, that you allow this, like a sacred space to be your space and really be with yourself and really try to connect with yourself and with the, the, like the animals around you and nature. Another thing is... I'm drinking a lot, and I mean a lot of grapefruit juice and orange juice. And usually I'm not drinking that much. Well, basically I'm never drinking grapefruit juice, but it was on sale last week. But I believe that the grapefruit is very beneficial to my detox and me having mild symptoms. But I'm surprised. I can tell you that I'm surprised that I'm not going into this heavy detox. Maybe later today, I've had moments, even on a raw vegan diet, that on day four, I felt that bad, that I nearly fainted. Okay, so the other thing is, uh, I went to my uh, mommy and daddy last night. They live nearby as well. Uh, my mother contacted me and said, well, daddy and I are thinking about, you know, gravitating or we want to juice more and eat more fruits and vegetables and they have a very healthy diet my my daddy loves to eat he's a little bit overweight and my mommy loves to cook and she's a great cook she even wrote cookbooks and she always been a very conscious cook 
uh, feeding us kids uh, where we grew up uh, very conscious healthy food so i told them hey listen uh shall i come over and let, let's just watch a movie together and i was thinking about what movie i was going to show them and uh, because i have a netflix uh, subscription i chose to go with the basically the first movie you need to watch if you want to go towards a, a plant-based lifestyle you're thinking about it the movie you have to see is forks over knives and my mom and dad loved it and we had such a nice night i wanted to show them super juice me of jason Vale as well but we didn't have time it was getting late so i will show them another time i think one of the most inspirational documentaries i've ever seen Jason Vale is a great human being. He has a resort in uh, Portugal where people can go to if they want to, you know, do a juice fast. And it's just a really heartwarming and lovely documentary to watch. For today, I think this is enough. I can tell you that I feel fine. Of course, I'm tired. <laughs> and I have my afternoon nap. I'm taking it very slowly. I'm not doing exercise uh, or whatever kind of, you know, activity. I'm just taking it very slowly. And I, and I hope the next few days I will get more energy. Thank you again so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click like. And uh, if you want to follow my journey, you can subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye-bye.